What's good, you guys? I'm Chanel with Lizzie Charm, and this is your daily vibe. So if this blesses you today, be sure that you bless someone else by sharing this so that we can keep the love and abundance flowing. So today is Wednesday, and Wednesdays are ruled by Mercury. I got an orange candle here for us. It's a little low because I had started burning it already. But let's get into this astrology today and see what mercury has going on for us along with the moon oh and the moon and mercury are in a sextile today they are in a very having a very harmonious conversation on how to think get things together right so mercury is in sagittarius and we may be very focused on expanding our beliefs changing our perspectives on any beliefs that we've been holding on to that has not been supporting us, supporting our life, supporting our journey and moving forward, you know, and really what it is that is, how it is that we need to see things that is going to best support us in, you know, moving toward our goals, the, the end game, right? Because Mercury is about to go into Capricorn soon in uh, like two weeks or so and we're going to be very focused on attaining what it is that we have been working towards right so mercury also being in sagittarius this is you know asking us inviting us to really expand on what it is that we believe to be true up until this this point this place this time it is that we're in and you know mercury is the ruler of gemini and we have in gemini the north node so this is about our this is very future oriented of this expansion in our mind that's happening you know and really recognizing these perspectives that have been affecting us our emotions in a way that has been stifling us but also along with the emotions that have triggered these ways of thoughts you know anything it is that we have attained because mercury in gemini it is about the knowledge that we receive as children what it is that we've picked up along the way from witnessing from our family and how it is that they relate to one another but also what it is that we received in in grade school you know so it is it's not slight, it's not there yet, but in a day or so, maybe more, it'll be in an exact conjunction with the North Node. So that'll even more so uh, bring that energy to the forefront of, you know, kiltering that mind, that perspective, our truth with where it is that we are going where it is that we want to go you know and aligning those things so that we can flourish so we can thrive so that we can attain in life but also feel comfortable with who it is that we are our authentic selves our authentic self of being and feel very sovereign in how it is that we are choosing what it is that we want you know and being okay with that so let's see mercury is also to have any aspects going on yeah it's not a quite conjunct the sun and i'm not i'm not going to get into that because i'm going to wait until they come into conjunction because that'll that's going to bring some revelation to us it's going to even further expand on what i'm talking about here so we're just going to talk about the moon the moon today is in libra and it's already it's about to be one o'clock here where i am and it is at its 11th degree so we're walking through a new door as far as our emotions are we're coming into balance with our emotions you know really recognizing the cause and effect of things and why it is that we have been feeling the way it is that we've been feeling kind of what jump started this and really offering the insight the knowing right because Libra's about the truth i need to know to be able to move through that and more so align with how it is that we need to feel so that we can thrive in our connections our relationships you know and really just feel at balance with ourselves feel at a place of peace 
with ourselves because Libra is all about, you know, keeping the peace, uh, finding common ground and all of those things. So it is in a, a sex style, having this, you know, kind of let's work things out conversation with Mercury being here in Sagittarius. So this is even more so supporting us walking through that new door, supporting us really moving beyond old false beliefs that have not been serving us up until now and more so about ourselves, but even about the world because this is collective energy, you know, but based on where this is showing up in your chart, these things are affecting you in whatever place that that is in in bringing this energetic capacity to your life to be able to move through and work through these things and really find and be in this space of feeling good about who it is that you are what it is that your life entails, where it is that you're going and how you're going about getting there, but also attaining the knowledge. Perhaps you need to connect with a teacher, someone who you can learn from, a mentor that can help you do this. And if you are that person, maybe you need to begin sharing this, right? Because Mercury is the throat chakra is all about communication and sharing whether it's your truth or the knowledge is that you have that can help support others in aligning with their truth so they can speak their truth so they can authentically speak and utilize their their throat chakra you know so let's see it is also in, later today let's push the time up a little bit so we'll also be seeking some resolve in where it is that we have not it's about the uh our identity in a sense and the balance it is that is needed with how it is that we think about ourselves how it is that we feel about ourselves how it is that we feel about others you know it's almost like that coming to of okay this is me this is who i am and i don't have to feel any kind of way that it does not either resonate with somebody else or that somebody else is different than me because we are all none of us are the same we are similar in some way and then there are some of us who are nothing alike you know so and that is okay that is what makes the world go that is what you know, brings wholeness to our collective reality. Like it's okay to accept that. And that's what this energy is bringing. You know, also um, aligning that individual need to move forward, that individual need to take action, to initiate a thing, you know, without being in this space of, of, of force. That Libra moon energy really brings that balance, that truth you know, that, uh, that solace that creates an atmosphere that allows us to kind of create the new beginning it is that we need with how it is that we align with ourselves and how that resonates with another. Again, you know, in really just finding balance, finding the love where we meet with someone else, where we also meet within with ourselves and our wholeness and recognizing this and and accepting these things <laughs> you know so it's also uh going to be in a trine so benevolent a lot of benevolent good feel good energy going on here with the north node so we are coming to the space of recognizing after we've kind of went through this realization of okay let me align these to these beliefs. Let me change my mind a little bit so I can shift how it is that I've been feeling. We've uh, come into attaining this piece. Now it is a moving forward without any judgment, letting go of any judgment, letting go of the past so that we can move forward into the future. Of Especially when it comes to how we relate to other people, how we connect to other people you know and 
again, maybe we need to learn this. This is something that we need to be taught because everything does not come natural to us. There may be someone who can do this a little better than we can and they can share that with us. Or again, perhaps maybe that's you and you need to get out there and share this with people so that they can have these things because at, at this time it's more important than ever that we come together and be able to help one another move forward on on our path on our journey on our healing or however you want to see it you know so then the moon is also going to be coming into contact with the sun right and this is it's going to feel good we're going to be feeling very aligned with our sense of self how it is that we express ourselves, how we go about, you know, aligning our will and our ideas, our inspirations to one another and really being able to put the effort in and in, in being able to express this in a very balanced, a very beautiful way, you know, but also a way that is very sovereign and free and uh, from a space of who it is that we truly believe ourselves to be, who we feel ourselves to be, who it is that we are, you know? So that is enough about the astrology today. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> so we will be integrating the spiritual lessons that we have learned over this time while Neptune had been in retrograde, you know, where things were a little bit unclear, a little bit foggy, and really needing to see the light you know and really being able to integrate that clarity that we need to be able to really feel you know from a very unconditional non-judgmental space you know really be able to offer that that unconditional love with someone really be able to offer a safe haven, a, 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 the ability to hold space for another, but also the ability to hold space for yourself. You know, that is so important that we are willing to see ourselves truly as we are and, and face our shadows, face the darkness of who we have been and, and what still lives within us so that we can move forward in a a much more beautiful way, you know, in a way that really exudes love, that is joyful and, and is feeling fulfilled, whether that is with your own self, with the people that you connect with, with the life it is that you're building with your children, you know? So, yes, let me see, is that everything? Yes, it is. And in our relationships with our children, they may be feeling really good, a lot of fun, a lot of communicating and all of those things. So you guys, I'm gonna get into pulling these cards really quickly. How my tea get cold that quick? I don't understand. It wasn't that long enough to get out the pot. <laughs> So let's see what the zero has to say for us real quick. And then spirit. Ancestors, guys. Thank you, whenever I angel support us. Please share with us what it is that we need to know on this day of December 9th. This day will be Mercurial Mercury. Show us the way. All right. It's a very emotional day. Wow. So we have the King of Cups really needing to be in that space of emotional maturity, really, uh, you know, aligning with how it is that we feel and being okay with how it is that we feel, you know, and really being able to carry out and connect with others but also ourselves listening and following our intuition our passions you know taking any energy that has been scattered any 
thing that has really been stopping us from being able to connect with our intuition, connect with our inner light, connect with our inner sense of creativity and our ideas and our inspirations and really come to a higher octave of that so that we can fulfill the wishes it is that we have within our life, within our relationships, you know? So we may be really... Mm, really focus on our relationships today, whether that is with ourselves, with our spouses, our husbands, our wives, our children, whoever, our parents, you know, whoever that may be, and really just coming, returning back to a space of innocence in the sense of the way in which it is that we go about connecting with others and how it is that we are choosing to see ourselves as well. Play, yeah. <laughs> Don't be so serious. Have fun with this. Maybe that has been a, something, you know. It's just really being so focused on what needs to be fixed, right? Instead of just enjoying the moment, being present and allowing things to flow naturally, right? Because it's very, very a lot of watery energy for it to be us to be very be influenced by this this air and, and fire energy you know but in at the same time you bring fire and air together and you either suffocate or the fire go or the flame goes out you know when your flame goes out it, it can bring some sadness some depression some melancholy type of energy Right. And, and perhaps we've been trying to ma manipulate a situation and, and be in control of something. And, and that can take the fun out of everything because you're trying to figure out how to make a thing go in which it is that you feel it should go. And you kind of got to let God do it. Spirit, the divine, do its thing, do their thing, you know. So let's see what else is here. Celebrate where it is that you have come, um, where it is that you have been. Acknowledge the fact that you are no longer who it is that you once were, that, you know, you made it through whatever it is that you had to make it through, and today can be a better day. Really enjoy life. Feel good about it. It's okay to be passionate and, and feel fulfilled. The fear. So... The seer speaks about being able to see why it is, I'm just talking about that, why it is everything has been and became what it is, and also being able to recognize how it is that you're showing up in the present moment, how that is going to affect the future, you know, what role does your present energy play in what it is that you are trying to, or or the reality it is that you see for the future, right? We're going to read this. And the seer says, it represents the capacity to reach beyond the obvious details of life into the hidden realms where information is available to those with discernment to perceive it. The symbol represents psychic perception, intuition, and the capacity to know something without prior exposure. The seer knows truth, always seeks truth, beyond all else and sees reality as it truly is without judgment. The seer can read between the lines and understand what is not being said. He represents the power of clarity and being able to recognize patterns. The invitation here is that the seer invites you to trust your intuition and follow it as it leads you forward. You may feel lost when it appears that your hunch is taking you in circles or even through a maze, but the hidden rooms don't follow the rules of a two-dimensional map. Trust your gut and allow your perception to perception of your circumstances to widen to include the nuances and subtle cues cues that you normally miss if you take things at face value. The seer has gifted you with this magic. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Your vision is clear. Now, if you are not feeling tapped into your intuition and you are not feeling confident in trusting your gut, the medicine here says the seer has arrived to now challenge you to get out of denial and begin telling your truth about your situation. Wishful thinking will not make what you desire to happen when you're refusing to see things as they are. The truth may hurt, but it will set you free to claim the bounty that is waiting for you to notice. 
This is a moment of true power. The seer offers you his medicine. When you're ready to surrender your vision to spirit and ask to be shown the truth, no matter the price. Once you do so, your eyes will open and you will receive a powerful gift. So to me, that speaks a lot about with the medicine, just perhaps that melancholy energy, that sadness, that e emotional manipulation energy that has been trying to force things to be in a way that they aren't or that they cannot be because you are not seeing things truly as they are, right? And in a sense, having you and forcing you to take things way too seriously, you haven't been able to celebrate where, what things were, you know, been in this space of, consistently trying to force a thing right to be something and not really enjoying what it is that you have right here right now but take heed to your intuition listen to what it is saying to you it if it doesn't feel right maybe it is not right if it helps if you feel good about it then it's something good about it you know once you can it's almost about that Neptune energy that we'll be experiencing later, getting yourself out of that fog, seeing yourself clearly, seeing the situation for what it truly is and not what it is that you are believing it to be. Perhaps that is also something when it comes to your beliefs that needs to be released of how it is that you have been perceiving things based off of some type of old conditioning, right? We got the 11th house here so this is about your goals your your aspirations your humanitarian efforts what it is that you in a sense purpose came here to do right and this can also talk about your friendships the people it is that you choose to have in your life have you been seeing them clearly have you been seeing how you've been interacting with them clearly have you been trying to manipulate them into responding to you in a certain way out of some type of conditioning that you picked up. How are you trying to get your colleagues to respond to you in a certain type of way instead of just showing up truly as who you are, your unique self, it is safe to be you. It is safe to be who it is that you are in this present moment. You know, enjoy the moment, enjoy the people that are around you, enjoy what it is that you have built, the life that you have built, the life that you desire to love, you know? It's all about your beliefs. What beliefs is it that you're holding on to? The light is shining there. What is your truth? It's okay to be okay with who it is that you are. Oh. Children. Yeah, so really good day with the children. Um, so we got the the order. So the order speaks about it's about success really but it's also about in a sense a way in which things should go right so this is the page of wands so for one if you are with this 11th house perhaps you have some business going on you will succeed in that but also let's talk about the order and how it represents how this is a capricornian energy and the way in which you think and believe that things should go or things should be and that is based on conditioning what it is that you have been told that may ne not necessarily be the truth you know and it's okay to accept that and when you accept that you need to release that then you will attain that fulfillment you will attain that success it is that you are desiring and moving toward and then we got a more so a more is cupid right so someone is looking at you with great love and longing someone wants to show you their love someone is showing you their love someone is truly feels heartfelt for you or perhaps there is someone that you feel heartfelt for this also is speaking a little bit to me about reconciling a little bit hmm let's see all right because it's nine of cups is here stand still take a break also again it's okay you don't have to be so focused on trying to attain your happiness because your happiness is right here, if you can allow that to be. 
you know, really tap into your your gentleness, tap into your love, you know, what is your love language? Share your love language with yourself. Share it with others. Really be true about what it is that you feel, who it is that you are, that you desire. Okay, yeah. I wanted to say hello. <laughs> so let's see the affirmation card for today is gentleness. Oh, <laughs> so be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with others. Know that you know what it is that where you've been like what you've believed up until now if it has not been serving you that is okay you know if it has created some type of energy in your life that has not been supporting you that's okay we're under a waning moon we are releasing things that no longer work for us we are getting ready to plant new seeds next week all right so you know Take the time to just enjoy where you are so that you can see what it is that you really want, what it is that you have been missing out on appreciating in your life, you know? And gentleness says, I speak with gentleness and I listen with gentleness. I align with the gentlest part of myself and I take joy in being receptive, open, and unafraid. I'm like a baby deer who's best friends with the elephant. The baby elephant wraps his little trunk around my shoulders and we lie down gently on the grass, daydreaming and talking about what sort of humans the clouds look like. <laughs> so enjoy the people who it is that you are. Enjoy the people that you have chosen to walk this life path with. Enjoy yourself, you know, enjoy moving towards your goals, attaining your aspirations. Really good time today you guys it, it, the, de the energy is definitely there with libra with the moon being in libra very light-hearted very caring very loving very gentle you know very supportive it's all there for us and take the time to listen to yourself to tap in to listen to your intuition you know and if you are into psychic work get get on that you know do that with love if you have any type of spiritual anything you have going on maybe you need to tap more into your abilities your intuition take some time to sit down and visualize and and, and open your third eye so that you can see things a little bit clearly and again the last card, the we have the lion for today. Ask for what you want, right? So you can't go around assuming that people know what it is that you expect from them, how it is that you, you know, how do you see love? Sure, let's accept people for the way it is that they love us, but also let people know what you expect. I talked yesterday about communication. We got to learn to communicate with people. We got to talk. <laughs> you know, that is, that is where the intimacy happens through conversation, through communication, through connection. It's a mercurial day. Get into that mercury energy. This is a blue card. All right. Have the courage to move forward and connect. We got this blue butterfly. It's time to transform, y'all. You know, and really connect with ourself our truest self our deepest self right and share that with another person and and, and and utilize your boundaries in a way that is supportive that doesn't keep you blocked out you know that doesn't keep you in a prison or in a victim state of mind where you feel like that you need to manipulate a thing because you manipulation don't serve nobody don't even serve you except for in the moment we have to pay back everything has to be paid back you know so all right you guys i hope that you all have a wonderful wednesday i hope that this has been helpful again if this sends you if this offers you some blessings bless another so they can feel the love and the expansion and the abundance it is that they need flowing into their life as well and i will talk to you guys tomorrow bye